Two of the dangerous things you can get from people to mess up your mind is going to be diet and religion. All these places, churches, synagogue, mass, Buddhist monster, all these places are places set down to suppress human emotion. It teaches you to conform to government. They're always going to call something anti or whatever that teaches you to become a free thinker. Nobody comes and take care of wild dogs. Nobody take care of it. Anything they call wild animals, what they put on you, they call you wild. They put that in your mind. They're survivors. They survive without the control or the handling of me. That's what you got. That's what they call me wild. Because I don't want man hands on me. Our people have to be taught. Our people have to be educated. Our people got to be empowered to stop believing their system. And we have a system already in place for us. And it's bad that we're so susceptible to accepting their system versus the system most high than our dang food. We don't have anybody telling us to make our people great again. You don't have any songs they make anymore talking about your greatness or your color or your creation or your invention. You don't have anybody saying rappers just ring you down now. All your songs about smoking weed, getting high, and having sex. Riding around the block. Who, what other rapper ain't shit? Our people keep looking for a job. I tell you, a job is good if somebody ain't got no mind, ain't got no plan of doing nothing. Welfare was the worst program they ever bought. Welfare broke up homes. In order for you to get welfare, there can only be one parent in the home. You have to make pennies in order for you to get welfare. And really, they'll force you into a job where you have to lie and you have to work off the books. And you'll do that long enough that you'll get old enough. When you get to the age of retirement, you won't have nothing. And they'll wipe you out. Don't ever believe. You know white people come to give you something? No. Learn how to make your own way. Stop waiting on people to do something. It ain't his responsibility to do nothing for me. My people, the bad part we got, we keep thinking white people, white people don't owe us nothing. First prayer, we owe ourselves. We owe ourselves dignity, self-respect. We owe ourselves to go out here and stand the do a stand. We're already industrious people. Tell the energy you spend the con and lying cheap, you can put that into something being more resourceful. First, it being like your oppressor. They don't want to think about it. White people have never taken a nonviolent approach toward our people. You won't ever find it. Every action that white people take against us is violent. If it's incarcerating you, that's still a form of violence. We had to let them know we will abrupt and burn this shit to the ground. Before we sit here and keep letting them murder our kids and just bunt and just keep incarcerating them. It's, it's bad. And our people just so calm, like, I mean, it's just what happens. We've been, at some point, it's got to stop. I said, take that car, let the animal go, let him go free. Let him be a survivor. Don't take away his instinct. Why you keep thinking everything can't survive unless your hands? You can make it if white people took their hands off you. Why do you don't like white people? That sounds like white people. I said, crack. Crack is just low. Discretion these people, just the low down, dirty, rotten these people. And it ain't every white person, like every person that's black ain't good.